It is technically a rest day, but I couldn't help but vlog. I'm folding all these clothes. You see, I have four weeks worth of washes right here. Like, you think this is it? Got this right here. I already started. Then that whole basket right there. You got Mason tripping. Uh, don't mind the mirror. I put that right there so I can see the back of the phone. Basically, if I set the phone right here, I'm looking in the mirror to see what the phone sees. I didn't want to use the front camera. I want to use the back camera. I want a haircut, but my barber is booked until next week. So I'm going to just cut my own hair. Yes, I've done it before. Um, I'm never too confident in the edge when I cut my own hair, but uh, it comes out good enough. But when you go to the barber, you know, he gets you right. He used a razor and all that good stuff. We ain't got the razor and all that, but we're going to get it right. A decent edge, decent fade and we'll look much better than we look right now. Like I gotta get rid of all this facial hair that I had to let grow in. Let me, oh, let me, let me, let me show you real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Going to the bath. Okay, so we're in the bathroom, right? My, 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 my bright brain, you know what I'm saying, decided, hey, let's try to, instead of, instead of shaving the facial hair with this right here, you know, the little edge, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try a razor for the first time and some and some shaving cream. You know what I'm saying? Let me see that for the first time. See what that be like. See how smooth finished up. I was ah, 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 ah. it was all smooth. Next thing you know, what was it? A day and a half later, hair start growing back. My face was jacked. Like not hair bumps razor but like it was i don't know what y'all can see now like the hair might be covering a little bit but like it was crazy i'm like never again so i've literally had to like find products to help like air was like get aloe vera it'll help so i got some aloe vera moisturizer some aloe vera face wash been using that or whatever and we trying out the uh rose water toner you know what i'm saying i wanted to try this in general but uh, it's clearing up. I had to let the hair grow back. I've been keeping a clean face, but I had to let it grow so that, you know, these bumps can get, man, bro, it was bad. When I say it was bad, I have never, like, all under, everywhere that razor touched, horrible. So, that's finally grown back. It's the bump, the, the, the bumps and stuff is most of the way gone, so we just gonna get rid of this right here. Uh, cut the hair down, fade the side up a little bit. Decent enough edge, because, you know, I'm cooked right now. Uh, and then we're going to go from there. I have procrastinated these clothes so long. I've literally went through every towel that I own. Every towel, almost every pair of underwear. Literally everything. It just be like, every time I felt like I needed to fold them, it never seemed like the right time. Like, oh, let me fold them. We got to do this today. Oh, I'm going to fold them, but we leaving for a trip. Oh, I'm going to fold them, but this happens. It never be seen like the right time. Oh, I got home too late. I should have. I need to fold them, but it's too late. I need to go to bed. It's never the right time, bruh. Jesus Christ. But nonetheless, we here four loads later. It's really more like. It's really like four times that I that I washed and should have folded. If we actually count the loads, it's probably like it was like two or three loads per session. <laughs> Time four, like twelve loads. Well, really not twelve because some of the stuff got washed multiple times. But you get the point. So probably like nine loads worth of stuff that should have been washed. And speaking of. Y'all ever had the, the the that towel or pair of underwear that like for no reason just gets a hole? Just a random hole, bro. Like these right here. I don't know why I'm keeping them. But look. For what? Why? How? How? But most of it is intact, so guess what? I can't see straight through the bottom. So guess what? I'm going to wear them again. 
so we've done everything on the bed. That's all the stuff from the bed, right? This stuff gets hung up, that gets hung up, um, folded stuff, towels. We still gotta do this basket mountain of stuff. It's a blanket in here. Many, it's just lights under there, it's not that many. So we pretty much done. I just got like, what, what's that? 20 items to fold? This blanket? Get this out of here. We got, it's not that much in here. Let's go. When I say I used all of my towels, I literally mean like all of the mugs. Jesus Christ. All the hangers. Speaking of, I need to buy some more. We need more hangers because we got more jackets. That's your phone? Um, Somebody calling you. Brrr, brrr, answer. Hello? Is that Mason? Hello? What? Oh, you said bye-bye. You hung up on me? Damn, Mason. You hung up on me, cuz? Rude. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This week alone has made me realize, like, I've already realized it, but it's made me really think about it. Like, don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. I've been saying it this whole time. We're grinding out 2024, starting with January, right? That's the whole purpose of this series. And within the first 12 days, just by thinking a little bit and executing on a particular strategy doesn't matter the strategy. the strategy is irrelevant it's just the fact that we came up with a strategy and we're actually executing we're seeing benefits from the execution and it's like it was the same thing damn we out of detergent i ain't gonna lie i prefer the, the pods over liquid detergent now but i ran out of the pods so i used what i had left of this but anyway um, it was the same thing in 2020 when I found out Mason was being born. I'm like, dang, I got at the time seven months till he's born. And I felt like it was going to be my last chance to give YouTube like a full honest effort before having a baby. I mean, looking back now, I would have been able to do it. Uh, I just would have been working whatever full time job on the side. But I knew it was my last chance before working, before having to do work full time to give it an honest effort. And within a month, we set, I set my mind to it. I came up with a strategy, started executing, made adjustments when that strategy wasn't necessarily working right off the bat. And within a month is when we found Meat Canyon's Wabbit Season video. And it was just up from there. Like every time not every time. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Uh, it's not every time. Hold on one second. We got the, the sheets going in the wash. I fully believe if you put your mind to something and you are smart about the execution and you can't be lazy with it, you can't. There's, there's, there's certain things you have to do when you're trying to, like content creation, for example. Like, there's a certain level of quality as far as the content goes that you have to have and you have to execute on. But outside of that, as long as you're not lazy and you put your mind to it and you're willing to do what it takes, you can achieve it. Like literally, like literally, bro. Like it's happening in my life over and over and over and over and over again. And it, it's, I'm living proof. I'm living proof. Granted, I haven't reached the, the heights career-wise that I really want to get to, but just us getting this far, it, it goes to show like, bruh, this shit is possible, bro. I've been doing this for 10 years. Successfully for three, about to be four. Well, it's four now, four. Successfully for four, but I've been trying for 10 years. First channel, we was doing skits. It was called Bormont, Texas. We had some sort of success. I put my mind to it. I locked in. We, I was getting it done. Granted, I didn't have a, like a, a consistent K 
cast at the time of like characters to be in the skits. It was just a bunch of people rotating in and out, uh, always changing. But put my mind to it, ended up with like 55,000 subscribers. Looking back, that's huge, especially for like 2015. Um, that didn't really work out because, you know, uh, what? What's up, boss? What's up, boss? Uh, that didn't really work out because of, uh, like the rotating characters and shit and you're not having a consistent cast or whatever, whatever. Uh, but for whatever reason that didn't work out, uh, I had a video production company, 2023 Vision. We was working, bro. Shooting, started off shooting music videos. Ended up doing weddings, commercials. We shot commercials for Chick Fil A, for Exxon Mobil, for all kinds of places, coffee shops. Mason, oh, distract me. Um, could have went even farther, but I knew that's not really what I wanted to do. Um, so it's always been YouTube. And looking back, you know what I'm saying? 2020 happened. I knew I didn't want to do that side of video production like for the rest of my life. So I'm like, that's when Mason was coming and I was like, boom, last chance to do this. Um, I could have still been doing video production to this day. Video production with a full-time job or a part-time job or whatever. But I made the decision that I'm going to give YouTube an honest effort and it worked. So believe in yourself, no matter if nobody believe in you. My mama didn't believe. Uh, his mama didn't believe. Uh, nobody else really believed until the check started coming. It was like, look, we can do this much. And it's like, oh, wait a minute. Put me on camera. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> believe in yourself, bro. But you can't be lazy with it, bro. And it's like skull, faceless, violent and skull. If you watching, bro, believe. Oh, my God. I need to wash my face. Take a shower. All kinds of stuff. Believe in yourself, fool. God damn it, it fit everybody else too. But that's my quick little rant, bro. If y'all want like YouTube advice or whatever, I do like plenty of segments in future vlogs or whatever. But believe in yourself, bro. Come on now. Don't give up. Never give up. Update. Hair still not cut. I was about to cut it. And then Mason, he took a nap and he wouldn't nap without me touching him. Every time I tried to get up. <laughs> oh, snap. Every time I tried to get up, it was a disaster. Y'all can look right here. I got all the the hair stuff. I had the towel laid over the sink. I had everything laid out. I was cleaning the clippers. And then he woke up and was like, hold me, daddy. So, change of plans. I'm taking a shower and we're dropping him home. Look at him. Come on. Hold me, daddy. Hold me, daddy. Hold me, daddy. Yeah, shower. Taking him home. We'll go to the other house. We'll just cut our hair tonight or something. Uh, probably off. I don't know. Damn it. I will go ahead and do this mustache though. You feel me? Since I'm about to wash my face, I have yet to take a shower to be honest. But since I'm about to wash my face and stuff, might as well trim up the mustache, shave all of this off. Hey, all my OGs, y'all remember that time? I, uh, I shaved all of this. That was like, it was down to like eight months ago or a year ago. A horrible decision, by the way. I'd never do that again. I was literally only had the mustache. Yeah, it was like a year ago when the uh when the merch dropped last year. Because the merch photos I took had it in there. When I tell y'all all of this is jagged, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see the leftover uh razor shit like it was smooth the first day then it was all jacked up i finally get to wear this hoodie you know what i'm saying y'all seen aaron in the purple one he got the purple hoodie with the green embroidery i finally get to wear it we've been on the green screen all week so i ain't been able to do it and it got the satin line cap man well, I'm be honest. I wore it before, just wasn't on camera. But I finally get to wear it on camera, or you know what I'm saying, while we doing something. You ready, sir? Let's go. Let's go, my boy. Boy got his own little trampoline. He throw the toys all over the living room. Yeah, let's go. Where your shoe? 
Oh my god. What the fuck just happened? What game is this? Bro. Chat, what just happened? Horror games hoeing. Like always. Ski. What in the hell just. I didn't. Bro, what? All right, we pulled up at the cribbo. <laughs> I believe we all about to play something. I hope y'all can, I hope my head not cut off or nothing. I believe we all about to play something together after Aaron finished that horror game. Uh, let's find out, shall we? All right, let's get into this Discord. Let's get this mic out of here. Hey, I'm matching the mic. Let's go. Mike is matching the mic. Oh my god. Uh, and something took over me. I love that, that that Vegeta sound mix where they put the yeet sound with the Vegeta voiceover. And something came over me. Let's see, who in exclusive gaming? Nobody's in Discord. But they in the group chat. Might play me some Call of Duty. I've been watching COD YouTubers go to town. I'll never be as good as them, but I might as well play some Call of Duty real quick. It is a rest day. Boy, look at that. That's a hell of an angle, boy. I got the the the, the cam right here and the game. Okay, hold on. What up, True? Yeah, I don't know what we playing as a group, so. I was just like, I'm getting, huh? I said, I don't know what we playing as a group. So I just got in the discord until we figure it out. Okay, for sure, for sure. Whoa, whoa, buddy tried to bust me. He tried to bust on my back. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Oh my God, Raging. Oh my God, I looked away for one second. I'm sorry, I apologize. That was a little freaky of me. Bitch. Uh, uh, uh. There we go, we got we got people showing up. Oh. Y'all. Vlog, they flexing, vlog. Vlog, they flexing, vlog. Everybody flexing. Hold on, y'all ain't got two of them, no? Two of them, no? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I forgot for a second. Say shit. Ski. Boys, they are, f I don't know how this turned into a flex fest. We not even gaming, huh? We, uh, Man, what's up? What's up? What's up, bruh? What's up, bruh? What's up, bruh? Fortnite V-Bucks, bruh? About two, three hours later, we're playing Pico Park. Everybody's geared up in the Discord. No, let get stuff. I'm vlogging, my fault, y'all. Uh, Pico. Um, This is an annoying game, if you don't know. Uh, We gotta work together and like, Make it across stuff. Uh, last time we played was August 21st, 2022. Let's see. That is the last time we played. I've been trying to get them to play ever since. And they ain't wanted to do it. But we're going to do that. And that's going to end the night. We're done. We're done for the day. It was a shorter video for the rest day. I wasn't supposed to record. Aaron's right here in the background, type shit. Hey, how y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? You feeling good there, brother? Hey, man. Was uh, it a nice... Upload your footage, by the way. Your Pico Park footage. Okay. Sure thing. Uh, 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 um, very rage-inducing game, that Pico Park, you know? Uh, 
What are we doing early tomorrow? We're not really leaving until like four. Mm. Are we doing anything? I might stream tomorrow. Game tomorrow. Yeah, we leave tomorrow by like four. Whatever we do, y'all will see it. Whatever. I don't know. Uh, narrator's a good four hours away. We'll be there about sometime at night, eight, eight, eight o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Set up the stream. Yeah. Got to set, make sure the donations set up right. I mean, they already set up, but we got to make sure we get his OBS set up right. Camera, all that. We got to make sure we bring a camera, air mattress. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun stream. It's going to be, man, I don't know. I'm yapping. All right, bye. Short video.